Hello, friends. Yale University astronomers have found something very exotic in the images of the Hubble Space Telescope. Imagine this, a giant tail of young bright stars forms above a massive black hole that has escaped from the center of the host galaxy and is breaking through the intergalactic gas. This phenomenon is included in a new study published in an astrophysical journal. The existence of runaway black holes has been predicted for a long time, but it seems that finally astronomers have been able to observe such an object for the first time, which, moving at a staggering speed, provokes star formation in intergalactic gas clouds. What do you think? Yale University astronomer Peter Van Dokum was looking for globular clusters of stars in a nearby dwarf galaxy in a Hubble image when he accidentally came across a strange streak of light that looked like a scratch. At first, he really thought it was a defect in the image, because cosmic rays hitting the Hubble camera's detectors do look like streaks of light or scratches. However, the strange linear spot was observed through two filters of the telescope at once, so the scientist decided to verify his discovery. After spectroscopic verification using the Keck Observatory, there was no longer any doubt that this was a real object, which is actually a long streak of stars stretching through the universe. The data from Kiki showed that the object was about 200,000 light-years long, which is about twice the diameter of the Milky Way. This band of stars seems to stretch from a dwarf galaxy with active creation, which is located at a distance of about 7.5 billion light-years from us. After many checks and computer simulations, a team of astronomers from Yale University, led by the discoverer, Peter Van Dokum, published the results of their research with a very interesting conclusion. The authors suggest that the image shows how, as a result of some event, a massive black hole located in the center of the galaxy suddenly burst out into the intergalactic medium. There, moving through the gas halo surrounding the galaxy, it triggered a shock wave that forced the gas to contract, forming new stars. That is, what we see is the result of a black hole colliding with intergalactic gas at a tremendous speed, about 6 million kilometers per hour. To put it in perspective, at this speed, you can cover the distance between the Earth and the Moon in just 14 minutes. Astronomers also emphasize that passing through gas above a massive black hole causes star formation behind it. But it doesn't drag the gas or newly formed stars behind it like a tail. Rather, it simply leaves a trail of disturbed gas behind it, which then turns into a bright path of young stars. But, of course, you and I are interested in how astronomers came to this epic conclusion. While studying the system, they noticed that a bright dwarf galaxy at the edge of the band of stars has the same redshift. Something about the band resembles a redshift. Astronomers use it, among other things, to determine the distance to objects, so the same value for the galaxy and the star trail indicated that they belong to the same system. That is, the galaxy is not located somewhere in the background, or vice versa, closer to us. The similarity of the redshifts between them also excludes the possibility that the streak is just a distorted image, of course, the galaxies are due to gravitational lensing, something like the lensed galaxies you see on the screen. If indeed this effect made the galaxy look like an elongated streak, then something similar would be expected from a dwarf galaxy in the neighborhood, but it doesn't even come close to looking lensed. The authors also ruled out the idea that the structure they see could be the result of tidal disruption or simply over a thin galaxy. The shape of the object, in particular the linearity of the entire system and the presence of gas compressed by the shock wave, suggested another explanation. But couldn't all of this be an ordinary jet quasar? After all, it looks very similar. The authors checked this possibility as well, but found no other common features besides visual similarities. If it were really a quasar jet, it would emit in the X-ray range, but the archival data from the Chandra Observatory, which has seen X-rays, did not reveal any linear objects in this region of space. Therefore, the authors of the study believe that the most viable explanation is a black hole that escaped from the galaxy at high speed. They note that the radiation stops abruptly at the edge of the band. Wherever the black hole is possibly located, there is a knot of ionized gas, 
which the authors describe as the results of the radiation from the accretion disk rotating around the black hole, or it is the place where the black hole collides with the gas and heats it by its movement. In addition, it seems that the main galaxy does not have a black hole in its center, at least it is not observed. That is, it does not absorb matter and does not emit jets that could be detected by telescopes. And the shape of this galaxy is somewhat irregular, which may indicate a recent merger, or at least a connection with the linear structure of stars. But if it was really a black hole that caused all these stars to form, how could it have flown out of its galaxy at all, and at such a staggering speed? The most likely explanation is the interaction of supermassive black holes circling each other in a dance in the center of the galaxy. Astronomers suspect that about 50 million years ago, two dwarf galaxies approached each other and merged to form a new, more massive galaxy. Meanwhile, the massive black holes in their centers began their dance, approaching each other and forming a double system. Such binary black hole systems can actually exist for quite a long time, about a billion years, but astronomers suggest that the merged galaxy suddenly underwent a new collision. At some point, another galaxy appeared with its own supermassive black hole and also decided to join the dance. While two black holes can still be called a relatively stable system, the interaction of three such objects only leads to chaos, instability, and chaotic triple black hole system. This could lead to the fact that one of them, having absorbed the momentum of the other two, was ejected from the host galaxy at high speed. At the same time, the authors note that the fate of the binary system that pushed out the third black hole may also be similar, they could have flown out in the opposite direction, but at a slower speed. As a result, the merged galaxy was left without a black hole at all, and one of the outcasts made its way through the intergalactic gas to create a bridge of young bright stars. To support their hypothesis, astronomers write about additional interesting spots they found in the images. In particular, the B object, which is located on the opposite side of the dwarf galaxy, also seems to be connected to it by a band of light, but much dimmer than the band of stars. The larger spot may be the trace of a binary black hole system that was also ejected from the system. And the streak is a gas trail, but without star formation, that extends from the binary system to the galaxy. The absence of star formation in this faint band is explained by the fact that object B is moving much slower than A in intergalactic space. Astronomers note that the speed is almost twice as fast. However, the team also does not exclude that object B is not proof of the correctness of their hypothesis, because it seems too bright and is at a slight angle to the line of light. Therefore, it may not be an object related to the system at all. The same goes for object C, which is even more mysterious. The authors note that they do not have any information about it, except that it should be slightly bluer than Zabi and most likely not related to the system at all. Interestingly, in the conclusion, the astronomers suggest that the black hole candidates they found may not actually be completely naked. It is expected that when a black hole leaves a galaxy, some of the stars that have been circling it may still be attached to the hole, escaping with it. This leads to the emergence of special space objects called hypercompact star systems. They are similar in size to ordinary globular clusters of stars, but they are essentially detached galactic nuclei. Therefore, the dynamics of the movement of stars inside them is much higher than in globular clusters. Astronomers note that the size of such structures is much smaller than the resolution of the GABLA, so they are not observed in the images. So, as a next step, the team will try to confirm whether their discoveries can indeed be linked to the runaway black hole. To do this, they have already applied for the James Webb Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory to conduct additional observations. The authors also hope that similar bands can be found in the future. For example, with the Roman Space Telescope and the Vera Rubin Ground-Based Observatory. By being able to cover a much wider area of the sky, these telescopes will be able to see many more such objects. According to Dokum, machines using search algorithms will be able to find them faster in an endless sea of other astronomical objects. Thank you for watching, dear friends. I hope you are as excited about this news as I am. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, 
because we have a lot more interesting and exciting things to share with you. For now, that's all. See you on our space journey.